Hey guys, John with Vapor Honing Technologies. Today, we're gonna go back through another explanation of closed loop versus open loop on a vapor honing machine. Probably one of the other top frequently asked questions that we get um, as a company when it pertains to this equipment. So we're gonna dive right into this. We're gonna start out with the closed loop option, which is gonna be the more expensive option. And then we'll dive into the open loop system, which is more economical, but it does have some constraints. Um, so they both have their pros and cons, but we'll dive into that and then walk you through the whole entire process. And really what you should be thinking about when you're gonna purchase an open loop or a closed loop system. So let's dive right in. Looking at the closed loop system here, um, you don't need the water connection and you don't need the drain. The reason for that is you can see we have basins here, uh, which are our filtration basins, and these house, depending on the machine, they house anywhere from 10 to 40 gallons of water per basin. This water is in addition to the water in your machine. So a lot of people get confused. They think that this water is the only water that the machine has to operate. No, this water is actually separate from the water in the machine. We have right here what I consider a high level water overflow system valve. What this does is it actually helps equalize the water in the machine. So when you're using the machine, you're gonna be rinsing the window to lubricate the wiper, and you're also gonna be rinsing parts after you finish blasting. So that water that's rinsing the window and rinsing parts is coming from the closed loop basins here. When that water enters the machine, obviously we're gonna be raising the water level in the cabinet. So what happens, that, that water has to come back out of the cabinet um, in order to operate effectively. Otherwise you're gonna be diluting the mixture. So this valve here helps regulate the water level in the cabinet. So when we're adding water from the basins into the machine, the machine is going to expel the excess water needed to keep operating efficiently. So this has many advantages. Obviously it offers filtration for solid sediments, any types of oils and contaminants that come out of the machine. And then it also gives you the convenience of not having to have a drain close by and also not having to add a water connection from your, your plant or your building. So this is your water supply to rinse and rinse the window. That's all this is for, of course, infiltration. It is not to operate the machine. The machine has its own water supply, but it has its way to regulate and basically equalize within the cabinet and the basins. So very convenient feature. Really, it's a set it and forget it system. I highly recommend it for anybody getting into this process. I know it's a little bit more money, but it's gonna be worth it down the road. You're not using as much water and you're not wasting as much abrasive in these cabinets. And specifically, if you're using some type of additive, whether it's corrosion inhibitor or any um, anti-clumping compound that we have, um, you're not gonna be wasting that product. You're gonna be able to use it in these systems because again, we're using the water, the same water from the hopper in these bins here. Um, so you're able to conserve a lot of money and save a lot of money with a closed loop system. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more insight in the difference between an open loop and a closed loop. So let's go ahead and dive into the open loop system so that you can compare both systems and figure out what's best for you. Right now we have the open loop system in front of us. The components um, are just a little bit different. Basically with an open loop system, you don't have the filtration basins and you don't have the excess water supply. Um, so you're gonna need two things, you're gonna need a water supply to hook up to the machine, and you're gonna need a bucket, or you're gonna need to plumb a drain hose to a drain. Because again, this is our high water level point in the machine. Um, this is the valve that controls that. And so you're gonna need to have a place to get rid of the water or drain the water and a connection to uh, basically feed the water or to the machine. Again, the machine is gonna always have water in the cabinet to, to operate and to run off of. We need the water connection and the drain to, uh, to, to basically rinse the parts and to rinse the window or lubricate the window wiper. That's the two reasons that we need water connected to the machine. Um, so to recap again, you need a water connection on the machine and you need a way to drain it or a bucket or a bin to catch the excess water coming out on an open loop system. So you can imagine if you don't have water source close by and you don't have a drain or you don't want to continually empty a bucket, you may want to consider a closed loop system. 
I understand the price differences and the concerns, but the benefits greatly outweigh the price when you start using this machine daily or even monthly, and you're gonna see the value behind it very quickly. Again, hope that helps you understand the difference between open loop and closed loop. If you guys have any more questions about open loop versus closed loop, uh, please give us a call or shoot us an email. We're always happy to help you. As always, follow all of our social media outlets, subscribe to those for daily and weekly updates. Thanks for watching.